The final weekend of the FIA ETRC is in Spain at Torama, close to Madrid. Oli Janes takes the Grammar Cup title with a win in the second race at Harama, celebrating on the podium together with the young Portuguese driver Eduardo José Rodríguez and Irving Kleinagelvort. Congratulations, Oli Janes. The weekend starts with another pole position for Jochen Hahn, his 13th in total for the 2019 champion. Next to him is Antonio Albafetti, number 23, hoping for a better result than Adam Lachko, who starts fifth. They're both fighting for second in the championship. The lights are red, the spectators wait for the start. The start of race one, Jochen Hahn on the inside for the first corner, taking full advantage of pole position. Albafetti slots into second. On board with Albafetti, the Spaniard stays in front of Sasha Lentz, who is third. Steffi Halm is fourth and Lachko is only fifth. But the Czech driver wants to move forward and he fights for the whole race with Steffi Halm. But he doesn't get a chance to go by. It's a fierce fight between the two of them. Norbert Kish closes up as well. He's sixth in the black Mercedes. On the last lap, for the last few metres, it's a sideways Jochen Hahn. He's heading for the chequered flag after 12 laps of racing and heading for a 13th victory this season. Antonio Albafete takes second and Sasha Lentz is third. It's a very emotional win for Jochen Hahn because of the death of his father, Connie, just two days before. On the podium, Jochen Hahn the winner from Antonio Albafetti and Sasha Lentz. A big crash on the opening lap of race two caused a red flag. It involved Jamie Anderson, the last rival of Ollie Janes. Anderson crashing into the barrier. His hopes to stop Janes in the championship are gone. A spring at the front of the truck broke, pitching him off the road. The second attempt has pole sitter René Reiner missing because he had a puncture on lap one of the first start. That means Josie Rodriguez leads. He's under pressure, though, from Adam Lachko. Norbert Kish is under attack from Jochen Hahn. Great battles rage on through the field. On board with Portuguese driver Josie Rodriguez. He leads, but Adam Lachko is right there behind him. Running third is Norbert Kish. Lachko makes his move and dives up the inside. Kish tries to follow him. Portuguese driver Rodriguez drops back. He ends the race in sixth position. Lachko leads from Kish then. Albafete third, Hahn fourth, Lentz fifth, Rodriguez sixth as they head to the chequered flag. It's a win for Adam Lachko, chased home by Norbert Kish with Antonio Albafete taking third. However, late in the evening, Lachko gets a 10-second penalty for causing a collision with Reinert on lap one of the original start. He drops to sixth and Kish inherits the win. Race three on Sunday, the truck's ready to go. On pole position, Adam Lachko, the second pole for him this year, with Jochen Hahn lining up alongside him. The start of race three. Lachko accelerates down to turn one, hanging on to the advantage. He hangs on to the race lead. On board with Ollie Janes. The Freightliner driver starting 13th. In front of him, Irving Klein Nagelbord. And he's making progress up from the back row to ninth place. And then drama as Anthony Janiak collides with Jamie Anderson in his rebuilt truck. On lap two, the drivers head under the Dunlop Bridge with Lentz going wide towards the gravel. Lachko leads the way, but as Lentz runs out even wider, Albafetti makes his move. He goes through and takes third place. On lap nine, Lentz comes under attack now from Norbert Kish. To the chequered flag, Lachko takes a third win of the season, followed by Jochen Hahn and Antonio Albafetti. The top three in the championship still sharing the podium. Lachko, Hahn, Albafetti, the top three. 
The final race of the weekend, a reverse grid for the top eight. René Reinert is on pole position. Second on the grid is Fabio Citignola. It's the first time the young German has been on the front row this year. The fans are ready for the last race of the weekend. A good start by Reinert puts him into the lead. Citignola second as they get to turn one. On board with Alba Fetti. He started sixth in front of Adam Lachko, his rival for second in the championship. And Lachko is wide and losing ground. Then drama. Reinert has engine failure. He pulls off the road and heads to the paddock. Norbert Kish takes over the lead. On board with Luis Rithuenko. Shows the drama ahead. Sitting Nola is sideways and there's big contact. Rithuenko with nowhere to go. Jamie Anderson involved as well. They all try to limp back into the race. On lap six, Steffi Halm is second, ahead of Jochen Halm, the champion, and Alba Fetti is fourth. Luis Rafuenko is still in the race, but has to retire after nine laps, thanks to a decision of the race director because of that broken and dangerous front screen. Norbert Kirsch ends the season in the best possible way with a win. Jochen Halm four and a half seconds back, and Steffi Halm taking third. Norbert Kish, Jochen Hahn and Steffi Halm on the podium. It's been another great season of racing in the FIA European Truck Racing Championship.